Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. The person that operates the drilling rig to driller always needs to know exactly how much weight he's applying on the bit. In a vertical hole, this is pretty simple. It constantly measures the weight of the drill string hanging freely in the borehole by a kind of scale attached to the steel cables in the derrick. We call this the hook load. Then it lowers the bit on the bottom, and while the weight on bit increases, the hook load decreases accordingly. The driller has a big display in front of him called the drillometer. On the drillometer, one pointer indicates the actual string weight, and the other, the resultant weight on the bit. But today, most of our wells are no longer drilled straight vertically. Most of our wells are directional or even horizontal wells. And in horizontal wells, this measuring principle does not work. As you can see in the picture behind me, major portions of the drill string, probably some kilometers, are lined on the bottom of the horizontal borehole. In this situation, there's so much friction acting on the drill string, it is impossible to deduce the weight on bit from the hook load in the derrick. So the question, how can the driller determine and adjust the weight on the bit? Well, the mud pumps help us to evaluate the true weight on bit. We can see behind me the mud pumps on the drilling rig. These pumps produce at a constant flow rate, but the pump pressure depends on how much work the mud has to perform downhole. The mud has to overcome hydraulic friction losses, through the very long narrow drill string and back up through the tight annulus. It also has to provide energy to rotate the downhole mud motor above the drill bit. In the long horizontal wells, the use of such downhole motors is very common. Such a downhole motor is basically a reversed mud pump. As the drilling mud is pumped through the downhole motor, the inner rotor in the motor is forced to rotate and this rotational energy is applied to rotate the drill bit. When the bit is pulled off bottom and spins freely in the borehole by itself, the downhole motor only needs very little pressure to spin the bit. But when the bit is run on bottom and the weight on bit increased, it gets gradually difficult for the motor to rotate the bit and the differential pressure across the motor increases accordingly, like this. If the weight on bit is getting too much, the motor will stall and the rotor stops turning, at the surface we will notice a sharp increase in pressure. So we summarize. We can measure the pump pressure with the bit pulled off bottom. We can also see how the pressure increases sharply when the downhole motor stalls. But between those extreme operating points, there is an operation range where we have pretty linear relationship between the actual weight on the bit and the relating pump pressure at the surface. This is great. The pump pressure can be used to indicate the weight on bit. The driller just observes the pump pressure and can easily determine the weight on the bit. That is why beside the drillometer, which we use to indicate the hook load and the derived weight on bit, there's a large display that shows the pump pressure. From these, and with some experience and good thinking, the driller can always tell the exact weight on the bit, even in inclined and horizontal wells. If you want to know more about drilling, come to our lecture, Basics of Drilling Engineering, here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.